guys welcome um back i'm not sure if this will be unapologetically with me or if this will be on my just okay let me just talk because this is um it's it's ironic because i um I did a speaking today and I talked about health and how stress affects our body. I didn't get to come on today because I'm like, oh my God, my body is stressed. So I did a speaking today from 8.40 in the morning to like 2, no, 3, about 3.15. And I talked about health and mainly stress. Here I am talking about it. And I held up and everything was good. I didn't drink much because I was like, I don't have time to go to the bathroom, which I did have time. I just, I just made that excuse to, I rationalized the like, well, if I go here, I did that. I will take ownership of that. But I did not go and like go use the bathroom because I didn't have to. I was like, I'll be fine. So I was fine. Came home um, afterwards and I was like, oh my gosh, you do gotta go. So I go to the restroom and I knew something was wrong because I go and as I'm getting done, I'm like, that's it. My bladder felt full so then i start to get scared because i'm like oh my gosh i know what this means and i do know what that means so um and i'm so you, i'm moving because i'm in pain i am in pain and so i thought and i was like how in the world can i go and teach people and talk to people when my vessel is messed up like my body is tense as i don't know what y'all i am i wasn't gonna come down here and do a video but i'm like i gotta i gotta do it in real time or doesn't it don't count <laughs> for me i gotta do it in real time or don't count because we whenever we um talk about things like this and that's why i'm like all the way dressed down because i'm in pain so a lot of times when we recap about uh things like this we um we tend to forget some some pain so i was like let me remind myself when i watch this again the pain that i went through because I'm getting better like I'm going to get better if that means I'm gonna have to do another fast which is what it seems like I'm gonna do that but um take care of yourself I teach people about it all the time and here I go again not taking care of myself I can feel it in the middle of my back my because uh, I stood all day so my legs my muscles in my leg is just they're tense they're tight they're stressed and I knew this was coming it was nothing that was like put on me so where it was like oh you gotta go I knew it was coming um i had it in my calendar i know when the next one is and i was ready and i was prepared so i thought but i still wasn't taking care of myself i just got done a little bit ago with my leg like hurting because um like my hip area because i wasn't taking care of myself i'm like i'm young i'm having all these problems that are common um problems to have as older in age but in my young age i should not be dealing with this because i should be taking care of myself but i'm not so therefore i have older uh problems that would happen to older adults i'm having them as a young adult i still consider myself a young adult um but um i said all that to say yeah, take care of yourself oh my gosh like i just went through this in october i didn't know what it was now i do know so things that i'm going to do today besides rest i was like oh i gotta stand up and cook no nope, we got leftovers so we're gonna have leftovers and it's soup <sighs> honestly y'all like i'll if I warm it up, I'll eat it, but I'm gonna have to do another fast because I gotta get my body and, and I wanna stop going to my fast just because I know it's a, it's for me right now, it's like a quick fix. Cause I know if I fast for at least 50, 60 hours, um, I'll be okay. But I have got to, can, if I'm going to do that, and I usually fast during the day anyway, but if I'm going to do that, I need to continue to do it. It's kind of like a fad diet, even though I don't do it for, it's a band aid Cause I don't do it for, weight loss i do it because i know my body if i give it time and just don't eat anything just have liquids or just drink i can um i can slow down and give my body a chance to take care of itself okay Whew. let me slow down myself talking fast trying to explain stuff got my brain an overload um I gotta take care of my body. We gotta take care of our body. My body is like on fire. Like right now, it's like, you should go pee. I don't have to pee, but because I done messed up with my bladder, I'm having spasms and so that's what it feels like. Um, so like when I say take the time to take care of yourself, I say that because that's something that I'm learning to do myself and make sure that I do more of. Cause I work right now, like my, um, 
goal is to be able to work for myself where I do go and do some workshops and work on um, taking care of myself. And then I do have some calls where I'm doing some personal development strategy sessions and we're working through some things that you know you may have and may be stuck and not sure what you want to do or you want to go or you don't know how to take care of yourself you just need somebody to talk to to figure this out like that's what I want to be able to do full time but God has let me know like no baby girl what you doing right now is enough because you can't even handle a day of just speaking how in the world are you going to handle um traveling and speaking and I can easily be like, well, I only have to speak. I don't know. I can say I only have to speak for like an hour or so, but I still got the flight. I still have, or the drive. Like I still have some things that I have to do after um, I speak. So no, I have to take care of myself. You have to take care of yourself. Like I, my body is just tense. So what I'm going to do instead of sitting here and continuing to talk, tell y'all about how my body is tense and then not do nothing about it. What I'm going to do is, like I said, dinner, thank God we had some leftovers. So dinner is done. All I got to do is warm it up. Um, honestly, they could do that, but I can warm it up. But I'm going to take me a spiritual bath. That consists of me. I got to find some tea lights. That consists of uh, me getting my essential oils together and my Epsom salt and putting them in a bath. And I turn off the lights. I have my tea light going on just because I like I love um I have a a warmer a wax warmer but this one is um by tea light it gets lit by a uh, fire instead of plugged up and so I had put some essential oils in there so I shut the bathroom I let the steam from the tub come up and like raise up in there put my essential oils up up in there I'm gonna sit my behind in there and just relax and do some meditation do some prayer because I got to get my life together there's so much that I want to do that I can't do in this state my body like I said I'm not I got I feel like I got a, a body of a, I can't even say like a something year old because I be seeing people to be out and about that's older and they be getting their thing like they be getting it on as you see I have now slouched down because I'm trying to elevate my legs because my thighs are like throbbing um but Gosh, yeah, take care of yourself. Y'all just don't know. Or you you probably do know. You probably like, girl, I know. If you don't, you don't want to know. Take care of yourself. If you are, then we got to start taking care of ourselves. I'm going to have to start incorporating some type of physical activity in my day. Um, and that's just the end of it. Like, that's what I got to do. Have to take care of myself. So that's what I'm doing to practice self-care today. What I normally would do in a normal situation i probably would just be like oh let me take some leave and keep working on whatever it is and i'm like halt who goes there not i like I, I can't i cannot continue to do this to my body my body has been too good to me my body is talking to me and telling me whitney girl you need to you need to take it a step back and recalibrate and figure out what you need to do so i have to figure out what i'm going to do because i can't do this I can't work like this. This is just not for me. So take time to take care of yourself so that you are ready for whatever journey um, ahead. I have to be ready for what God has for me and I cannot do that if I'm in the state of pain. And I'm not going to do it by taking medication to alleviate the pain when I know what the pain is. So let me be proactive instead of reactive all the time and take care of myself. All right, I'm going to go take care of myself, but I just wanted to come to to let you know pain is real. Stress is for real. Stress messes with your body. It tears you down and you have to take care of yourself. So have a good day. And um, if you feel like this, what are some things that you do to alleviate stress? What are some things you like to do to try and relieve your stress? And they don't have to cost anything. They can just be things that you that you do um what are some of the list them below maybe i mean my answer may not be what everybody else can do um so put some comments below and let me know what you do for stress relief true stress relief not eating oh i eat chocolate you don't say that to an emotional eater because i will mess some chocolate up i will mess some candy it ain't gonna be chocolate i will mess some candy up whatever you got i will devour it so that is not for me i have to find other ways besides food to help de-stress um so what are some ways you do comment down below be sure um 
to like comment and subscribe and take care of yourself take it easy um i'll check in with you all later like i said have a good day peace